Hi everyone. I've got a Shimano 105 rear dry lamp, rear mech, S-Bend, whatever you call it. And the problem with this one is it's not uh, moving freely. The reason it's not is this bolt inside there it is absolutely seized. It is moving but it has to move and spin completely freely with no resistance so it's an easy fix you don't need to replace the driver now firstly what you want to do there's a little clip behind uh, at the back of the mech just there the flat blade screwdriver just prise that clip off while you're doing that just hold the the bolt together like that just so it don't spring off and push that away and that will come off right now the plate at the back is free to come off now it is spring loaded just maneuver the the mech in a position where you can just take that plate off little plastic piece behind that and you can see inside there it's absolutely caked in crap so just take the spring out Gonna put a little bit of spray down there. Right, that's got it out. Usually just falls out, but obviously the amount of corrosion and crap that's down there is just holding it. There's nothing wrong with this mech, it's just been it's just been sat for so long it's just built up. Now this bolt it simply pushes out that way. But again, with the corrosion it's just holding it. So if you put your Allen key in this side and put a bit more spray down there. We want to get this bolt out. So I'm just gonna work that a bit just to try and get some of the spray, lubricating spray inside it it's a bit freer already okay at the same time I'm turning this bolt I'm pulling backwards to try and pull the bolt out which is working there we go if the bolt's not coming out easily uh, you can always give it a little tap uh, just at the back there just gently tapping that just to to free it up right so the bolt itself doesn't look like there's anything on it so that's fine so the, the problem will be just inside the mech there just this bit inside here that will need cleaning out so you can either use a foil or just a bit of sandpaper rolled up just to take a little bit of that surface off 
just to free it up. Put a bit more spray down there. Let's just have a look. If I can find my file. So I've got a rounded foil here. Just gonna put a bit of spray on that spring as well. So I'll just give that a go with the foil. Just offer that mech bolt in there. And there we go. It's completely free. So with that sorted, we can now put it back together. So you've got your bolt, Little circle rubber washer, plastic washer. That'll go on the bolt there and into the mech. Now we've got to put the spring in. You've got a shorter, a shorter piece there, and then a longer piece there. So the one with the shorter end needs to go in first. You'll see a little hole in the dryer at the bottom there. It just slots in there. Again, to try and position the mech in your hand so you can work freely around that area. It's quite awkward. Right, so that's got that spring in place. Next up you've got a another plastic another plastic uh, o ring. And I'm gonna put that over the spring right down to the bottom. It's basically like a little gasket just to stop any crap getting inside to help stop stuff getting in and then your your little plate there hole on the back as you can see you want to put that onto the spring first now this is the fun part at the same time as pushing down you need to turn anti-clockwise to push the uh, Push the plate down onto the, the mech bolt. This is probably the, the most awkward part of it. That plastic piece there is kind of misshaped. I'm going to leave that off. It's not essential. Just make sure you've got your spring in that hole properly. Let's try again. So I'll push down, turn clock, uh, anti-clockwise. And then you'll see where it's got to join up. I've got it on then and let, let go of it. Try 
trying to do it so I can show you at the same time. There we go. So you can see it now it's just clipped onto there. And that's what holds the tension on the spring. Just holds it on that piece there, look. You'll see on some mechs that's that piece is gone. Where it's gone the the uh the mech's gone all the way around and, and broken that off. Right. Just gonna just needs to push in that little bit more. Oh, it's come off again. Right, now we just need to put our clip back on. What I'm going to do is just against this wood, is just push that clip on so much. and clip it on. I just need to correct something. I couldn't get the clip back on. When I said earlier that that spring had the uh, the longer piece go in first, that uh, the shorter piece go in first, it was the other way around. So you need the the longer piece go in first, because otherwise the spring sticks out. The end of the spring sticks out too much, and you can't get the clip back on. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Longer piece in first. That's it. Bolt in. Oops, this is really, this is really difficult to do. <laughs> there we go. That is, I'll, I admit that is really difficult. To do with while well, trying to record right so as you can see that hole there the spring now is not protruding so it's not stopping the clip going on That's the clip back on. I 
That's the hardest part is putting that back on, but it's a case of pushing the spring, you're compressing the spring, turning anti-clockwise until you get your your bracket behind that your bracket behind that piece there. And then that's it, you can get the the clip on. So let's try it. So when that's on your um on your gear angle like that. That's it, it's moving free now. As long as it's got no resistance, you, your mech can do what it's supposed to do. So that's it. That's how you repair that, guys. And girls. Probably didn't make that look easy, but it's not that difficult. So yeah. That's it from me. Thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.